Do you know what this is? It's a positive COVID test. It's my positive COVID test. After over two years of avoiding getting COVID, it got me and it got me good. It took me down hard and fast. I ended the last vlog on Friday and I think I mentioned not feeling quite right. I'm like feeling very out of it today. I don't feel sick, but I definitely don't feel like 100% well either if I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I was wrong. That was the that was the beginning and it just was a slow decline from there. Luckily, I am vaccinated and boosted, so it hasn't been too bad for me, gratefully. So, but Friday evening was rough. Saturday was horrible. I'm not okay right now. I'm not okay. Sunday was depressing. Today is Monday. I'm still feeling fairly ill. Decided to test and yes, I'm still positive. I don't know why I thought it would go away that quickly because I clearly am still sick. Honestly, I was not going to vlog today because I'm stuck in my apartment, but I am this close to losing it after being isolated for the last three days. So I need someone to hang out with. So I'm going to hang out with you guys. I also just like don't want to lose momentum on the extra upload every single week that I've been doing for you guys. I mean, I'm going to warn you now, fair warning, this is not going to be very exciting. This is going to be a very boring, normal vlog. Definitely took off all my gels just then. I ordered two green juices yesterday and drank one yesterday and having one now. It has been the most beautiful weather outside the last two days which has made me extra sad. You still have not picked up the mirror, the broken mirror, so that's just sitting there for now. And I did wash my sheets and bedding this morning because I just felt like I wanted to like not sleep in germs. <laughs> this is not quite dry yet though. My sheets are already dry and I already put them back on the bed. Also, I don't know what happened here, but this is a hot mess. I've just been in bed the last two days, so yeah just made a big mess out here but i think just put everything over here and try to organize things a little bit better over here i feel like when the house is messy then it just makes me feel worse so yeah let's find some semblance of order in here and see if we can see a little bit <sighs> I cannot believe I'm vlogging looking like this. <laughs> In an effort to keep my counter not looking so crazy with everything that I've taking and need, I'm gonna use this little crate. We're gonna kick this thing, okay? Much more contained. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. I do still need to like sort out this whole side of my countertop. So let me do that. Just cleaned off the counter. Also got some eucalyptus delivered from Whole Foods yesterday and put it in my shower. I'm gonna take the shower right now. Wash my hair, I have an Olplex mask in my hair now. Have a nice luxurious little shower and get myself feeling good. <laughs> shower will do for you and like a hair wash you know I feel so much better also gave myself a little manicure which I'm pretty impressed with I do want to paint my nails but before I do I want to meal prep my kale detox salad because I feel like my body just needs greens the first couple days of being sick I had no appetite was eating just like not the best stuff just like whatever sounded good like peanut butter toast and <sighs> out of breath oh gosh peanut butter toast and um, what else, like soup and stuff, which is not bad, but I feel like my body needs greens. I need to like nourish my body. <coughs> ah.
gonna try and read some of this book. Kimberly Snyder is a guest I'm having on the podcast in a couple of weeks, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to read some of her book in preparation for our interview. I also did move my TV into my bedroom for this whole ordeal because it's a lot more comfortable to rest and watch a show in bed than it is in the living room. And of course, the weather has been absolutely magical in New York but hopefully it'll stay nice. My nails actually came out way better than they ever have when I do them at home, so that's a plus. I feel like I look dead, like my skin is gray. My eyes are like so dark, but um, yeah, this, this sickness is like trying to suck the life out of me, but I'm not gonna let it. I'm feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday. I will say that much. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be feeling much, much better. And so yeah, I'm just gonna read, drink my tea, relax, it's five o'clock. Really not that hungry, but I might have some soup in a little bit. And hopefully I will be reporting tomorrow feeling way better. <laughs> to test. Uh, yes, every morning. I want to wake up and test, see if I'm still positive. Also, Dayquil, elderberry, vitamin D3, zinc, liquid IV packet, manuka honey. don't know that I need Tylenol today, honestly. Some lipospheric C. I mean, I still do have like some sniffles, so I feel like this is going to be well, I don't know. Let's stay positive. <laughs> okay, still positive, so I suppose it'll be another day spent inside. I am feeling better though, so that is the good news. We'll say, thank goodness I am vaccinated and boosted. I feel like this could have been a lot worse. It wasn't. I'm extremely grateful that I got sick while living here if I was gonna get sick anyway, because if you watched my LA vlogs, my West Hollywood apartment would have been not so fun to be sick in because it was so uncomfortable and loud and I did not feel safe. Here is so quiet and comfortable and clean and bright and happy, so I am very grateful to be quarantined in this gorgeous apartment. That is the bright side. Anyway. Cheers to another day in quarantine. Three hours later. I think I'm gonna make a really yummy veggie soup. Celery, potato, onion, carrot, zucchini, garlic, cabbage, broccoli, and we're gonna use this with some water for the base. We're also going to add some diced tomatoes that have basil, garlic, and oregano in there. I think this will be good. I haven't even added the zucchini and broccoli yet, and it already seems pretty full. I'm not sure if I'm going to add those or not, but maybe I will. Maybe just the broccoli and not the zucchini, now that I'm thinking of it. Yeah, I'm going to skip the zucchini and just do the broccoli. going. I feel like no amount of skincare I do makes me look less like death. I feel like this sickness has sucked the life out of me. Like, I'm looking a little rough, but this is the reality. 
On another note, I got some fresh flowers delivered and they are stunning. So, so pretty. I'm supposed to put a podcast episode up today, but I honestly am so tired and drained that I think for the first time ever, it's just not gonna happen. I have never missed a podcast upload on a Tuesday since I started the podcast 97 weeks ago. It's also just too hard for me to talk for long periods of time without having like a complete coughing fit. I think we're skipping today, sadly. We'll take a little week break and pick back up next week. I have to practice what I preach, which is listen to your body. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. Nothing better than when your dogs are clean, your sheets are clean, you're clean, the house is clean. That feels good when you're sick. I think I'm gonna watch Love on the Spectrum because it honestly just makes my heart happy. If you haven't watched it yet, it's so good. <laughs> describes my mood. I'm ready to not be sick anymore. Thursday. I did not vlog yesterday because I tried to edit this video and the day just got away from me. I got up, I tested positive and it bummed me out. <laughs> I'm feeling a little better today. Actually, take that back. I'm feeling a lot better today. Although I just checked my flow app and I'm like due to start my period in a few days, which is like one thing after another. My gosh, can I catch a break? Anyway, so to offset any hormones and residual bleh energy from being sick for the last week. Did my makeup for the first time in a week, which feels really, really good. Put on a little matching set from Aloe that I just got. And we are now going to test as I do every morning since becoming sick. <laughs> I feel like this is the one thing that makes me excited in the morning because coffee isn't doing it for me lately because I literally can't taste it. That used to be my joy first thing in the morning. Now it's just testing to see if I'm negative or not. Ugh. Still positive. So annoying. Today is day seven of testing positive but I would say it's day 10 of symptoms. I guess I'm gonna spend one more day inside, isolated, alone. Ay ay ay. It's okay because I do have a podcast interview a little later and I wanna record a couple of episodes, which my voice isn't totally back to normal yet, but I need to catch up a little bit. Today will be a heavy admin day and podcasting day. At least I'll see if I can record the guest episode and at least one solo episode and see how I do. And I wanna get this video up today for you, if I can. I wasn't planning on doing an extra video this week because I'm sick, but I think we're gonna make it happen. I feel like that would make me feel better. Cheers to day seven in quarantine. I feel like I don't really need day quill as much as I did over the past week, but because I still do have some really truly minor congestion, I'm gonna take it today since I have to talk a lot today. I will take the rest of my supplements once I eat because I need to eat with these. And I will do my other ones first, and then we will mask up and go on a walk. We still have to take the dogs out. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. <laughs> Also yesterday, I did hang the picture above the couch, which I think looks really good. And I also hate to say it, but I'm giving up on this book. It's taken me over a month 
to get to page 175 and I am not into it still. And I hate doing this, but I just, it's just, it's not hooking me. It's not grabbing me. And I just don't want to waste my time. So if you've read this before and you loved it, I'm curious to hear from you. And if you tried to read it and you couldn't get through it, I'm curious to hear from you too, because I could not get through this book. Normally I would not have waited this long either, but I just hate giving up early. But last night as I was like finishing that page, I decided I'm over it. Also, one of the main characters' names is Shayla. It's spelled differently, but I've literally never read a book with my name in it, and I wonder if that's throwing me off because it's all I can think about. <laughs> anyway, I'm not reading this anymore, and I don't know that I would recommend it. The book that I am gonna read that I'm kind of excited about is She Regrets Nothing. I really don't know anything other than it's based in New York City, and it's pink, so we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully this one is better. I do feel pretty bad about this. I mean, could be me. <laughs> But it's just, yeah, I'm not vibing with it. podcast. This is my first time podcasting in my new apartment, so that's exciting. Fingers crossed the sound is good and fingers crossed my voice doesn't give out. Hopefully this will help me. <laughs> Let's go get a PCR test and see what the deal is. 